this person must be dreaming to- It would appear that way, yes. Can't say I'm very excited to go back there. That dream world sort of creeps me out. Perhaps you should spend less time compl- Yeah, yeah. This person must be dreaming to- It's what appear- Can't say I'm very excited to go back there. That dream- Perhaps you should spend less time complaining and more time getting on with the mission. Yeah, yeah.
have anything to say about that? Uh, hopefully there will be no labyrinth next time. I hear that. Thank you so much for saving me. I never want to have a... And another victim. I figured a book like... Even I have my... Would see. Yeah, we'd best act more. <sighs> and then I figured up even. It would yeah, we'd best <sighs> and I even That was rough. I am positive I have seen. Okay, that's enough. Don't need you getting. Okay. Yes, if the mayor. I think I have had enough wordplay to last a lifetime. Thank you very much. You're telling me. Oh, how wonderful. Here. I have. Wow, this looks. Of course. It's apparently a we well. We ap thank you again. For
So how was the village? Oh, it was truly magnificent. There are no words. Huh. Let's get back to Popla. She'll probably want to know what's going on in there. Death Dream certainly is a strange illness. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? The work probably won't happen for a while, but once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. What do you need? Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work and I'm starting to get a little worried. So, maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. A canal, is it? Fascinating. If we had a ferry, we could put these days of endlessly running about behind us. Don't you just float everywhere anyway? Do you think I am borne aloft by the winds, lad? It takes stamina to maintain this height. Oh, really? You could at least try to hide the utter dismay, you know.
Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh, God, it's over. My life is over. Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so, are you alright? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Sure. Er, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, then I... Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. Okay, okay, just stay calm. We'll go look for her, all right? You sit tight. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about it. We got the li- Hey there, I'm, uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home, and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here, either. Though, come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Or three? Uh, sorry ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Hey there, do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? All right, thanks for your time. If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. Something about that shade seems rather... odd. Hey! It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spell. Oh no! Do you think the shades got her? I fear it lightly, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. We were too late. Oh, this is terrible. What are we supposed to say? However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the truth.
Hey, did you find my sweet dumpling? We didn't, but we got this off a shade. Oh no, this, this is hers. So our fears were correct. Oh God, how could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. If I may, my good... It's because... Because I... I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. Annie, I'm home! Good heavens, you're a wreck! What's wrong? Dumpling! You're not dead! What in the world are you talking about? Oh, oh you found my bag! Oh, this is such a relief! Okay, seriously. What's going on? I see. So, you found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of your... Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just... Huh? I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week. <laughs> Remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you... Um... Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. You didn't listen to me, and you ate my apple. <sighs> you what? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You, kid, I'm right about this. Yeah. Wait, you're asking me? Anniversary gift is an important thing. You probably should have taken better care of it. Oh, so I'm the bad guy now. Is this fun for you two? Do you like ganging up on a poor innocent woman? Ooh. What? No, that's not what I meant. Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp. Ha! You're damn right I. You there! My husband! Uh, pardon? But, madam, I... Oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. Good talk for a floating magazine. I see you finally agree on something. Understand how fine hate me vice. What do I you turn on your heel? That's it instead of be uh, Actually, you're kidding. Well, I sort of oh you big silly Billy <sighs> I have no idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me well looks like they made up so all in the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Oh, heck, the canal! We need to ask him about the canal! I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. All right! That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. That was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. The couple with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. It 
boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird. If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. Some of the gay guards, they claim to be working, but I... Goodness, it sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. Thanks, guy. Hey, huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She said she needed something from you. Time to go play big brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Pope. Popola said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. What is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, Sid. Okay, I'm gonna say it. It's I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep. I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal. So who is this friend? Um... Well, he's kind of... He? It's a guy? He's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Vicey? Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south. And he's super nice. And he's my friend. So you have to help him. Please? Yona, listen. Please? Great. Now what do I do? Fine. 
I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. Is something amiss, lad? Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't. Shut up! <laughs> 